Hey everyone, back again. This video is gonna be talking about is using nitrogen in your tires a good thing or a bad thing? It's not a bad thing, but I definitely would say it's an overrated thing. My car obviously has nitrogen in its tires. It's not my first time using this. I had my 2021 Toyota 4Runner, and as I found out, it doesn't necessarily hold the tire or uh, nitrogen in the tires as well as you think it does. Hot temperatures is fine, but uh, cooler temperatures, not so much. So far, I haven't had any issues. Weather here has been just still brutally hot, even in the month of almost October. Kind of crazy, but anytime you see these green caps, just for the people who don't know, that just means you have nitrogen. I guess the biggest question is, can you put air in it if you lose that nitrogen? Yes, you can. Now, I've talked to several different people and they said it won't hurt or mess up anything. So, you know, you're good on that. There is a link that I read uh, online. I'm gonna put it in this video so you can do um, uh, all the reading for yourself and everything. Uh, it's good knowledge to have. I definitely would look it up in case if you're just not too familiar like I once was. But I definitely would look into it. I had a problem with one of my tires, not with this car, but with my 4Runner. And I wondered if it was just tire or the you know the nitrogen or what it was it, I think it was just a bad tire but uh, you shouldn't have to worry about it as much as you think you should uh, hope you guys are having a good day so far just a little something that I was gonna read for you guys uh, should you use nitrogen in your car tires consumer reports test uh, showed that using nitrogen is not worth the money or inconvenience. This is a common pitch. It is compelling filling your car tires with nitrogen will reduce air loss, fuel economy, reduce rolling resistance, and improve safety. Some cars are even sold with the telltale green caps, like the one you see here, uh, on a valve stem, signaling the tires have already been filled with nitrogen. Dealerships are, are in dealerships are Dealerships and tires, excuse me, uh, shops often charge owners to fill their nitrogen at five bucks a piece, rip off, or um, just like a routine service that you would have done with your vehicle. But the biggest question is, is nitrogen worth the price? I would definitely say no, it is not worth the price. Do not be fooled. Don't let someone lie to you saying that uh, it's so much better than using just, you know, air, air is free. You go to your local gas station most likely and get it it won't be such a big deal but if you are new to that and you're just not too sure it can be a bit overwhelming at times so don't don't let that discourage you at all and if you ever see that light come on just check to see where it where what tire is low and then you can go from there and just uh, fill up if you still have problems i would say definitely take it to your dealership but just because you have that little sticker in your windshield alerting you that you have nitrogen, just be sure to uh, put air in it. Don't ask for nitrogen because most likely the dealership is going to charge you $5 to do it. It's, yeah, I definitely would not even waste my time or my energy with it. So I hope this video is somewhat helpful. Like I said, I'm going to link the description in the video so it helps you guys out. Um, I remember when I first had nitrogen, like I said, in my 4Runner, I was still new to it. I'm like, do you mix air with nitrogen? Is it okay? Is it safe? Yes and yes. It's fine. It's not going to hurt it. Like I said, matter of fact, I'd probably just use air instead of nitrogen because it's not really doing what you think it does. It's a cool idea. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on it, but Gosh, I don't know, for five bucks, just to put some nitrogen in your, your tires, when I mean, you could have gotten it for free. I'm not a math genius, but do the math on that. Does that make any sense to you? I mean, would you do that? I don't think I would. Anyways, folks, I hope you're having a good day. Hopefully not as hot as mine is. Anyway, I will catch you in the next one. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Bye.